run. If you have a place that you can run around instead of just back and forth or in place, that's great. Um, but if I run, I could actually run laps around my downstairs, but if I do, I would just be passing by the camera. Just so I suppose I could do that, but there's not much point in you sitting here watching an empty camera. And punches. Keep your hands up, keep your feet moving. Make sure that you rotate into your punches. It's the hips that are driving these, not your hands or your shoulders. Okay, then we're gonna do ski jumps. Now, if all your parts work, you're jumping side to side. If they're not, step. And then once in each spot, once you're there, small squat. Well, it's not really a squat because your weight's on your toes. If you're doing a squat, your weight would be on your heels. This is intended to be plyometric. So if you're jumping, your heels are never hitting the floor. And if you're stepping, your heels are never hitting the floor. Next one is knees. The goal here, keep your back knee bent. I mean, your standing knee bent. I guess sometimes it's the back one. Other side. And then some jacks to mess with your brain, okay? Up. In, up, in. And then kicks. I'm just going to go front, side, if you want to do um, different kicks, other kicks than that, if you want to do shadow boxing, that's fine. But I want your legs moving in this part. Okay, so now um, I would like you to stop the video and do at least one more time. Do that two times would be better. Run, punches, ski jumps, knees, jacks, and <clears throat> um, kicks. Okay, then we're gonna stretch. So once you've done that, turn the video off if you need to, then come back and stretch. We reach up and straight out to the front. Reach for the floor. Over to one side in the side stretch. So grab your ankle, keep your chin up, pull your chest toward your knee. Down in the side stretch. Okay, here you want to have both heels on the floor. If you need more stretch, put your elbow inside this knee and push it further out. Okay, then you're going to turn and stretch your hip flexor. So my knee here is behind my ankle. I'm pushing my hip flexor this down towards the floor. And if you want more stretch, push this knee out as you do it. And then straighten out your legs. Chin up, back flat. Reach forward, stretch your hamstring. Come to the center. Toes straight forward, push your knees out. Other side, grab your ankle. Okay, make sure when you do this, you're not bringing your head down to your knee like this. You should have your chin up so you're pulling your chest down. Then down in the side stretch. Okay, 
and turn, stretch your hip flexor. Straighten out your leg. Chin up, back flat, stretch your hamstring. Then have a seat. Okay, one leg, this leg is, can be, you can pull it across if you want to. I'm gonna do it out, mine doesn't bend. Okay, then you're gonna bring your knee up, and whichever knee is up, you can take the opposite elbow and put it on the outside and pull across. Then you're gonna switch feet. Okay, then you're gonna put your feet here and you're gonna come down to one side here. Okay, now look at my body. I'm sitting relatively straight. The goal here would be to have both knees and both butt cheeks on the floor. I can't get there, but you also need to have your body straight. If you're getting everything on the floor by doing this or twisting sideways, you're not getting a, a good stretch. So I'm gonna come here, I'm up straight, and I'm gonna twist across back and forth. And I'm gonna, with my shoulders square to the floor, reach for the floor here. Then I'm gonna come up. I am not gonna use my hands. I'm just gonna pick my knees up and go the other way. Feet are down, back is straight, shoulders are level, one side and the other. And then with your shoulders square to the floor, reach down toward the floor. back up, feet out, toes, what I'd like you to do here is grab your toes and pick your heels off the floor. If you can't reach your toes, okay, pull your toes back as far as they'll go, lift them off the floor a little bit if you can, get your back flat here and push your chest forward. Don't do this, it's a different stretch. I'm trying to stretch your hamstrings here. And up. What have I got here? Okay, so we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you three exercises. I'm gonna show them to you, and then I want you to go back and do each one of them for a minute. Okay, so the first one is a squat and a lunge. When you do a squat, you want your feet, yeah, shoulder width itch, mine are a little bit wider than shoulder width because my leg, my shoulders aren't that wide and my legs are very long. But you're gonna have to find a comfortable spot for you. And when I do this, I actually, if I'm not wearing shoes, I actually pick my toes off the floor. You wanna keep your weight on your heels, shoulders over your hips, as if you're sitting on a, a chair behind you. So you know, if, you, if you put your weight into your toes, it changes your body posture, it stretches your knees instead of working your butt and your legs. So we're gonna do a squat and a lunge. And a squat and a lunge. Okay, so that's the first one. The second one is called a rocking chair. And the reason that we're doing this instead of push-ups is because when I ask you to do push-ups, I get all sorts of weird body postures. Okay, I get this, like this, like this. Okay, but rocking horse is a way just to work our plank. So I'm gonna get in my plank. I'm on my balls of my feet. My back is flat. My hips aren't down or up. My back is flat, my chin is up. I'm looking at a spot about two feet in front of me, and I'm rocking back and forth. Okay, then we got one more. And the third one is a, butter, a bicycle. But I'm gonna come down here, so my shoulder blades are just touching. My hands are not pulling on the back of my neck. They're just here touching over my ears. So I'm gonna do a bicycle. And when you're doing your bicycle, you're not just pulling your knees up, but you're rotating this elbow's pointing past that knee. So I do one set down, and then I come up on my tailbone, and I do another set up. And down, and up. Okay, so I want you to do each one of those for a minute. Set the timer and do each one for a minute. Squat lunge, rocking chairs, and bicycles up and down. Okay, this is strike test for the fourth month. So Monday and Tuesday this week are strike test, graduation, um, t t 
teens and adults, Wednesday, Thursday, kids, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So you should know your stuff now. If you don't know your stuff, you shouldn't be graduating. So what I would like to see, if you are turning in this video for credit for your stripe test because you can't come to class, I need to see a minute of jumping jacks, a minute of push-ups, a minute of sit-ups, because that would be required at your stripe test. And then I want you to take one of those exercises that I did, either the squat lunge, the rocking chairs, or the up and down bicycles. And I want you to show me that for one more minute. Okay, so, so you, the jumping jacks, push ups, sit ups, one for a minute each, and then a minute of the which one of ever those drills you want. And then I need to see your form and your weapon. So if you karate, red belt karate kid, I need to see basic form one and comma set. Um, Tung Sudo, I need to see whatever your form is for this cycle and your weapon. Jimmy, basic form one by the count. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, here, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two three, here, one, two, one, two, one, here, Pato. And show. Ready. Yeah, Set. Yeah. Courtesy. Yeah. Action karate form two. Action form two. One. Two. Three. Four. Here. One. Two. Here. One. Two. And show. Ready. Set. Courtesy. Action karate form five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. One. Two. Three. Here. One. Two. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. Here. Here. Set. And show. Okay, chuck form. I'm going to do single hand first. I'm going to back up enough so that hopefully I don't take out my cabinets or my ceiling fan. We start here, courtesy. Okay, so tungsten or beginners, that's your, what you're responsible for. The form is not required, but you're responsible for all those techniques. That's a good way to practice them. Um, two chucks is intermediate. Green belts, first brown belt. Karate Kid Advanced, you guys are doing combo, but you need to know your chucks. Because when you come to your black belt test, if you say, oh, I haven't seen those in two years, nobody's going to want to hear it. You're just going to fail. Okay, so this is the two chuck set. 